Hello and welcome to One Cut. I'm your host, Amber Wisman, and with me today is composer and pianist, Alec Brown. Hi, Alec. Hello. It's really great having you here today. It's great to be here. Yeah, so my first question for you is, what got you interested in music? Oh, wow. That's a little bit of a loaded question. Um, <laughs> I, there are quite a few things. I mean, I mostly started in uh, middle school as a percussionist, you know, just playing in the, the school band. And uh, eventually, I started to teach myself piano and just listening to all sorts of different musics, and it just kind of came. And how did you teach yourself? It was, it was pretty tedious. Um, most kids at that point uh, were usually getting lessons from other people. You know, their uh, parents were either paying for lessons or they'd been doing it all their life. But I just uh, sat down at our piano one day and started just, you know, plinking out some songs that I personally really enjoyed. And it just evolved from that. And did you learn by ear, or did you also learn how to read the music by yourself? Re reading the music was probably the hardest part. Uh, because I was a percussionist, we only really read uh, one staff at a time, which is basically very... Uh, that was the hardest part, <laughs> trying to learn where the left hand belongs uh, with the right hand. But I did learn by ear at first. I eventually learned how to read the music, and I'm great at it now, but it was very hard to do at first. Wow, I bet. So um, what sparked your passion for music, and what made you specifically choose piano and keep going along with piano? Oh, uh, I remember my uh, when I was very young, my grandmother played a lot of piano, and I just remember sitting underneath her piano, listening to, uh, you know, all this really fantastic, wonderful uh, classical stuff, Beethoven, Chopin, uh, the works. And so I had a very musical background just growing up because my parents put it on the radio all the time. But my specific passion for it, I think, sparked when I started to listen to uh, uh, some of the music from my favorite movies and that kind of thing. You know, uh, how memorable some of these themes are. Harry Potter, Star Wars, Pirates of the Caribbean, just really memorable, cool stuff. And I think that's really what jump-started it the most. That's really cool. I love that. So what genre of music do you like to play? Um, I'm, pr I'm pretty uh, well-rounded when it comes to genres. I mostly started out in classical and jazz, mostly jazz though, you know, the yeah. jazz bands were the first to uh, need a pianist for me to fill that position for. But um, I mostly specialize in classical film scores, jazz, the works. Wow. And so do you write your own music? I do, yes. Um, what kind do you enjoy to write the most? Well, I started out writing uh, classical piano stuff because that's what I was the most acquainted with. I had spent so many years just studying the scores, listening to it, and seeing, you know, what I wanted to put out there myself. But actually just recently, within a couple months ago, I have started um, writing orchestral music. I was commissioned by a friend, uh, you know, on the other side of the United States to write music for their game. And so I'm finally able to uh, you know, stretch those chops out a little bit more. And it's, it's really fun. I, I really enjoy doing that. And is there anything about the specific style that you play that impacts you? It's very much a part of my uh, personality at, <laughs> at this point. Um, because when I listen to some of this music, it kind of puts me into a deeper thought process of how I want to go about doing things, whether it's playing or performing. And when I go out on stage or record a video, uh, it's very much a, okay, how does this music make me feel and how do I want to make other people feel with the music I'm playing and performing? And it just kind of spread to the other aspects of my life because I really like making people feel happy with what they're listening to. That's perfect. 
Well, you know what? We actually have some footage of you playing. Oh. And I believe they'd love to take a look at it right now. So let's see. Yeah. Wow, that was beautiful. Well, thank you. Wow. So what inspired you to um, play this particular piece? Well, I had actually, if, if you could see it on the music at the beginning of the video, it said um, opus one, number one. Well, basically, that's a way of categorizing their music, basically saying, OK, this is what was written first. But the thing is, that wasn't my first nocturne. And my biggest inspiration for writing that piece was because I wasn't happy with the way the last one turned out. And so after months of kind of toiling it over and thinking about it, I decided to go in, give writing a piece like that another try. And I feel I had learned a lot <laughs> from the mistakes I made on the last piece. And it was very difficult, to say the least, to to go in and kind of fight all the mistakes I had made before, but man, it was worth it in the end. This particular yeah. piece, uh, I just wanted to play it here because I thought, uh, wow, it's, it's really wonderful what you guys are capable of doing with the lighting and the cameras and everything. And that's why we chose the uh, black backdrop because now everything that was on the camera 
everything that's in view is just me and the piano. You know, there's not a lot going on in the background, and it's a very, uh, it, it's a much more intimate piece of music with the audience. That's wonderful, and I can definitely see that when we were watching that. So, um, you obviously are a performer. Um, yeah. So, can you describe what is it like when you're up there performing? Is it just you and the piano, or do you feel a connection with the audience? What's that like? Oh, it's uh, it, it's a very surreal experience because uh, personally, I'll go out on stage and I'll think to myself man, you know what, this is just me and the music, I am going to show them the music I prepared. But then I actually get on stage and I see that audience, and no matter the size, whether it's a uh, nursing home or some great hall, you know, those people are in there about to listen to what I'm going to play. And so it's always my biggest goal when performing is to take all of that stressful energy you know I've kind of built up going on stage and using it to my advantage uh, by creating the best music that I can personally it, it's nerve-wracking but uh, just to see the reactions is what makes it all worth it I bet for sure so um, you decided to take your love of music and piano to your education. Um, can you describe your decision to pursue music here at CMU? It was hard. I, I mean, because, you know, there's only uh, a certain level you can reach when it comes to the fame, I guess. Uh, but that's not really why I'm in it. And so it was pretty difficult convincing, um, you know, family and friends, that kind of thing, that, you know, this is what I want to do with my life. And uh, CMU especially was alluring because I had already become acquainted with a few of the professors here and how the uh, line of work moved. And I just was really excited to come start it. And now I feel like coming to CMU amongst all the other different colleges I toured, it's a much more uh, uh, personal experience. You know, the professors here are absolutely wonderful, and they're, they're top class. I would put them up there with all the other uh, great professors at, say, Berkeley or these other, you know, huge conservatories. Oh, for sure. Wow, that's really great. So, um, do you feel there's been any challenges playing the piano that you've faced? Yeah, when my uh, when my professor sees this, he's probably going to freak out. <laughs> there were a couple <laughs> of uh, technique mistakes. Because I did teach myself, I didn't really have a lot of the really important technique stuff ingrained from when I was younger. And so there are things uh, I do fight, like a uh, tense pinky, that kind of thing. But I, I would have to say that just learning the overall technique for the keyboard has been the most difficult part. Well, I bet, for sure. Okay, so could you um, just quickly let us know um, what you're looking to achieve with your degree and what you're looking to do in the future after you're done with college? Uh, absolutely. I am currently, I, I have my hands kind of everywhere. Uh, I am a freelance performer and composer, so whenever someone has a wedding that they need a pianist for, you know, uh, my friends kind of hook them up with me because it's something that I'm easily able to do, pull out music and uh, play for them. So weddings, nursing homes, uh, even just random combos that need a pianist, I'll do that. Uh, and like I said earlier, I do have a friend across the United States who is developing a game and they needed music for that game. And so I kind of stepped in and said, you know what? I'm a composer, you're a game developer, let's make this work. That's perfect. Well, I'm really looking forward to seeing where you go in the future. <laughs> Me too. Um, and <laughs> thank you for joining us for this episode of One Cut. I'm your host, Amber Wisman, and with me today is Alec Brown, composer and pianist.